the choices and the options we make after job loss they are purely at our own cost losing the job is one of the most devastating thing that to many even the genius affect badly but the choices we make the options we have in life is very vital when we focus so much on the past we lose the focus of the future it's always good to leave the past behind did you know that the past is very painful in most cases? Did you know that the past is very dark? We always remember the bad things that happened. And that's why we lose focus for the future. Therefore, if we lose our jobs and things seems not to be working out, let's forget about the past. For the past, it always drain our energy. Let's focus to the future where there is no obstruction apart from getting more focused and having positive things. The future is more brighter. The choices we make, however, affects our future. And however smart we are, we are always hit by the catastrophic episodes that happened before. Negative more thoughts and minds is what always registers when we lose focus. And when you lose focus, the energy is gone. And presumably, that's when many people start thinking of alcohol abuse, drinking. Many people start thinking of smoking, or they start smoking, or if they have been smoking, they start smoking chain of packets every day. Thinking that you're solving the problem, you're doing more damage to yourself. If you are smart, then when your job is gone, you always start thinking of how to be more focused. And that positive focus is that give you more energy and to be more creative. One day, one time, I found myself out of the job. I had so many options to make. I had so many choices to make. For example, I had my own money. So I would have started smoking. I would have started drinking. I had my own good sense of deciding maybe to go on drugs and this is when I felt so down I was thinking that if I go to drugs it will make me more high more feeling better but another thought told me no you're not in that class the problems were overwhelming me I would have thought of Committing suicide. There is a day the thoughts of taking my life was trying to pop into my mind. I never accepted it. I say, shut up, you negative mind. And it came out. It ran away. You see, I had choices. I'm at liberty to do whatever I want to do, to decide what I want to do. To make the choices good or bad. But the good news is that 
I decided to choose the good stuff. What are the good stuff? Now if you are still here with me, please uh, hit that button, smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell, share the comments and share the videos. Leave good comments below. The thoughts of prosperity and success has been a good foundation through my slogan that I will never give up. So whatever comes into my life, I decided I will never give up. The good thoughts of never smoking or never starting to drink made me, my, made me more strong. Making that decision, positive decision, it makes me more focused, more strong. Keeping healthy by eating healthy has been my long time option. If you check on the links below, you'll see some of the links. I, I'll be doing some uh, healthy eating when you lose your job. Keeping fit, exercising, doing sports, walking, clearing your mind, getting out of the house, killing the boredom, seeing nature, being creative. And by that, I kept my sanity at high level. More than before, I improved on my personal development. And most of the major ones are the six aspects of my life. I had to look after my mental health. You see, we cannot control the thoughts that comes into our minds, but we can control the thoughts that dwells into our mind. Mental health is very, very important when you are out of jobs, the stress and a lot of negative things happening in life. So keep your mental health super physical. I've been very active in sports and stuff. Emotional. I love listening to motivational videos, books, like for example an audio book of Robert K. Shaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Another fantastic book I would recommend by Dr. Vincent Pearl, The Power of Positive Thinking. They, they boost up your emotion. You know, listening to music, country, nice country, gospel music. Name it, whatever your choice of music is. It will lift up your emotions. Spirituality. I never left uh, my spiritual points of view. Listening to churches online, singing gospel music, listening to positive spiritual music. It helped me a lot. My finances was one of the major things. When you see my link below, I share some videos about how to eat healthy when you're out of the job and how to mind your finances. So my financial aspect was very good. I had to decide what not to eat and what to eat and what to spend and how to spend. So that was very good. So thinking of not just misusing your money with drugs is a good way of savings, smoking is a good way of savings, and stuff like that. And definitely my social life was very good. I get rid of all the toxic negative people in my life. So I started entertaining only the positive people. Now who are the positive people to socialize with? Those are the people who are sailing in the same boat like you. For example, my previous video was talking about uh, an online digital skills academy community whereby You've been interacting with people who are very successful, six figure, seven figure. People who are making a hundred thousand per month, ten million per year, on doing online business. So that was my only social platform I've been engaging. The rest of the people I put them aside because they're negative. They're not making me move forward. But these people, they make my life more better. So the choices we make are 
very, very essential. They always say we become what we think. Let's get more focused on the better choices we make. We have so many options, the good and bad. So whatever you choose, whatever options you follow, whatever options you choose, is purely a thought of the day. Will they make me better? Will they build me up or they will demolish me up? Will I end up in second hospital or will I be healthy than before? Thank you so much for listening and watching my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Share my comments. They may save someone out there. Leave some comments below. Above all, stay safe, look after one another, keep an eye on grandma and grandpapa out there during the lockdown, and be kind to one another, and stay safe. Thank you very much.